Hi there, my name is Rosalind Jukic and um, welcome to everyone who is joining me for this Periscope today. Um, if you don't know who I am, I am a blogger, I'm a professional blogger. I blog at a little R&R. &R. Um, you can find me at www.rosilind.com. Oh, no, rosilindjukic.com. Hi, Dr. Mark. It's so great to see you. And I saw that also that Judith popped on here. And it's just so great to see people on here that I know. Um, so I'm really glad that you're joining me today. Um, a little bit of background about my family. This is a little bit of behind the blog. So a little bit about my family. Um, hi, <laughs> it's so great to see you. And please tell your wife I said hi. <laughs> um, a little bit of background about my family. Um, I'm an American from the Pacific Northwest and I live in Croatia. I live in, we live in the country. And um, hi, Brandy. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad that you're on here. Um, I'm so glad that you joined me today. Um, we, I, we, I live here in Croatia. My husband is um, local from this area. And we have two boys. We have a five and a half year old and an almost four year old. And um, we have chosen to homeschool until they go to traditional school. Um, and we're still considering the possibility of homeschooling them later on, but that um, is still kind of in the decision works. But uh, we wanted to prepare our children for school, and they do start, start school here a little bit later, and our children are so eager to learn. So we thought we would just go ahead and just start school now. Um, but the uh, challenge that we are facing right now is the fact that we are a shift family. If you don't know what a shift family is, that means that um, one or more members of the family work um, a shift job and that can either be a um, graveyard shift or it could mean a swing shift or it can be in all three rotating shifts. Um, my husband works all three rotating shifts. They rotate every week. So every week he's on a different shift. So he said, uh, what kind of school? Um, I'm at traditional school, like public school. Um, so um, until our children um, go into public school, then we're schooling them at home. And then there's a possibility that we might decide to continue that, but we still haven't made up our minds yet. We're still discussing that. So we still have time. We still have a couple of years um, before we make that decision. So the um, challenge that we are facing is um, because we have a very small home. There are four of us living in uh, 750 square feet of home. And anywhere that you are in the home, you're near a bedroom. Uh, you're near our bedroom. <laughs> and um, so when my husband is recovering from graveyard shift, it really makes it interesting around here. Now, um, so that's kind of where the challenge is. And when he works swing shift, then he's home in the mornings. And so then our, our schedule is different because um, he's extremely spontaneous. So it's like, hey, let's take the kids here. Let's go there. Let's, you know, let's do this. And um, hey, let's take them outside. It's nice weather. And so um, that kind that kind of tends to um, throw school up on its head. And I'm a little less spontaneous. And so that kind of makes me a little bit crazy sometimes. Um, yeah, yes, I've been there in small, small home with nowhere to go. Yes, that's exactly it. And Judith says my husband was doing the evening shift for a year at heart. It is very hard. It's it's hard on the one that's working the shift and it's hard on the entire family because it really kind of throws a monkey wrench into the whole schedule of the family, especially when you have a small house. But it doesn't matter what size your house is because you still have to be careful that they get their sleep. Um, especially because my husband works with knives and chemicals and so that always kind of worries me when he's sleep deprived. <laughs> so, um, so this is the challenge that we're facing now. Um, I wanted to jump on here, and I'm not, I don't have any kind of answers about anything. And if you do, then please, in those little comments down there, if you would just like, you know, continue talking with me because I love that. Um, I love talking with people, and since I'm home with kids all day, then this is this is my adult conversation of the day. <laughs> um, but I wanted to just get on here and share a little bit about our family. Now we just completed our first week of homeschool. I've been doing um we had to be quiet five were under six. And that is hard. That is really, really hard when they're young because they don't understand it. And you said my husband did graveyard shift for a year as well. Yes, and it, it is challenging. It is extremely challenging. Um, 
Now, uh, we just completed um, our first uh, week, and I did do some schooling last year, but we weren't consistent with it. Um, and we were doing, I was basically feeling my way along. Our son is um, is a gifted child, and so our five-year-old is a gifted child, and so Annie has speech delay. And so um, I've been really kind of feeling my way along and helping him, um, you know, catch his speech up um, and trying to trying to figure out ways to challenge him because his brain is just um, works in realms that I don't understand. And so um, it's been a challenge to try to keep his brain challenged, um, keep him um, excited about school, and and he loves to learn. He just doesn't. He did, he wasn't loving to learn what I was trying to t teach him. <laughs> and so I think we've I think we finally got there. He's very happy with school right now. And so last year was trying to figure out a groove. And boys are often delayed. Yes, they are. They are. And so that is true. Um, so, um, we have just completed our first year, and our first year, our first week, and we love it. Um, good morning. Um, okay, so which cousin are you? Please tell me, because I can't tell by your picture down there. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, and that was your son, yeah. <laughs> um, so, um, we've completed our first weekend. Oh, Shaleen, hi. Oh my goodness, I have not seen you forever. That is wonderful. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, your boys were nowhere where your, where your girl was. Yeah. Um, and I, found, I have found that with my friend's girls, um, who, um, you know, we, we kind of see each other a lot and, um, their girls tend to be more advanced than mine are. Um, speech-wise in particular. So we start out the day with Bible and I downloaded um, Grapevine Studies and I will be doing a review of the Grapevine Studies and a giveaway on my blog next week. Um, they are fabulous. I, I downloaded the traceables and what it is is basically children uh, draw stick figures through the Bible. So they, so it's a workbook and they can, you know, you read a small passage, a few verses, talk about it, they draw a stick figure about it. And I ordered this traceable so that my son could see how he was supposed to do it. Because he's still young. And so we do that in the morning and then we follow up usually by some sort of a writing or reading assignment. Um, and he is reading. He's, um, he's reading, you know, anywhere from three to six letter words. Um, and he loves reading. He really does. He got that from his mama. <laughs> um, I'm always getting teased about all the millions of books that I have, and I have read all of them. Um, and then we usually follow that up with some sort of science. Now, right down with science, we're studying animals. My kids love animals, and we're getting ready to take them to the zoo in September. And so we're talking primarily right now about wild animals. And so that's a lot of fun. We're going to move on into farm animals soon. And um, they are having fun with the animals, and then on Fridays we get to do a craft that has to do with the animals. Today we did um, crocodiles, alligators. They were I couldn't find YouTube videos just about you know I didn't find alligator ones much. There were crocodiles, lots of crocodiles. So that was what we did today. It was a lot of fun. They had a blast doing that. Um, then we do math. Um, he is already into simple addition. He cl clicked onto that. He's a numbers child. He loves his numbers. So we practice counting up to about 120, um, and um, simple addition, he loves that, and writing numbers, which he likes a whole lot less. <laughs> um, and so, um, and then I include some sort of coloring. I said, Austin, um, online there are free printouts for zoo activities, zoo scavenger hunt, awesome. I am so gonna go check that out and download something like that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. He will love that. Um, so I try to include coloring. Um, I've not been able to interest my children in coloring very much, but I think we're finally getting there because I really feel like coloring, drawing, those kinds of things, you know, working the other side of the brain um, are so essential. Um, and even though it's, it's simple, I sit down and color with them. And I found that when I color with them, they like it a whole lot more. I love coloring, so it's not hard for me. And then we usually end our day with reading, um, with reading books. And so what I've tried to do is I've tried to do a lot of less, I've tried to do a lot less with apps. Um, my children could be on the iPad literally all day, and I'm sure my children are not the only children in the universe that are like that. I'm pretty sure most, most kids are like that. They like that, that sort of stimulation. Um, but I have found that um, 
I've been trying to do a lot less of screen stuff and just a lot more of just traditional paper pens and stuff and reading books. Yes, and I love reading books to my kids. They love reading. And so um, they love it when I read to them and then they enjoy trying to read books themselves. And so um, this part of the day is not so much of a challenge as much as, um, as it's not so much of a challenge when my husband is, is first shift. What's the biggest challenge? And not even so much when he's night shift, although it is a little bit of a problem I found because <laughs> I set up a circle time in the boys' bedroom. Problem is, is that our two bedrooms are connected. So you have to go through our room to get to their room. And um, yeah, that was not a smart move on my part. So now I'm gonna have to rethink that. The problem is, is that we do, do a calendar. And they love the calendar. It's like their favorite time of the day when they get to put the, the number on the calendar. It's like we take turns, you know, one gets one day and one gets the other day. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have to rethink that. So if you have any ideas on what I can do, I'm sort of thinking a poster board idea. So we can kind of move it back and forth, but I haven't decided if that's the one I want to go with or not. Um, so, um, yeah, if you have any ideas on that, please share. Because I have... You know, their colors, their shapes, their numbers, the weather chart, and the calendar. We go through that every day. And the alphabet. Um, so that's all on their wall. And so we go in there, we have that part of our day there, and then we move to the kitchen table to do the rest of school. So um, so these are this is the challenge that we're facing. The other challenge that I'm facing, if you have any ideas about this, reading to them um, and do family, family reading was the best thing we ever did. Yes. Yes. And I think it's so important. You know, I remember my, my parents reading to us. Uh, we didn't have a TV. And so, um, so we did a lot of reading as a family. And, you know, the older we got, then the more, you know, the bigger the books got. You know, my parents did. You know, I, of course, you know, you start building memories until you're a little later on in life. But um, you know, I clearly remember my parents reading Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys and the um, boxcar children and um, little house books. Uh, we went on as we got older. They started reading, you know, Heroes of the Faith books to us, and so we read about C.T. Studd and we read about Eric Little and Amy Carmichael and a lot of missionaries, a lot of missionary books. Um, and so, you know, that was, you know, we would sit and we would color or build with, you know, Lincoln Logs and and Legos. Um, while they read to us, and then my mom would often read to us and then get to, you know, especially when it was the Nancy Drew or Hardy Boys, get to like, you know, it was really suspense scenes, and then she would stop and say, if you want to find out what happens, you have to pick up the book and read it yourself. <laughs> and that's how she built a love of reading in us. Um, so I think that's great. I look forward to those times, you know, with my children, you know, being able to build that suspense in them and, you know, creating that interest in, in reading themselves. And so, you know, but the... The other challenge that I'm facing with homeschooling, if you have any clues on this as well, um, is um, keeping my four-year-old, almost four-year-old, active while I'm schooling my five-year-old. Um, he is a very active child. That child has more energy than five people put together. And he, um, he craves attention. Busy boxes. Okay, now you're going to have to tell me what busy boxes are because I have no idea what they are. Um, it sounds like, oh, dude, just great. I hope so. <laughs> I sometimes feel like I'm in way over my head <laughs> and I'm drowning and trying to come up for air. <laughs> um, especially with two boys, two boys. Oh my goodness. And they're both very, very, they both have extremely active minds and, and my, my youngest has an extremely active body and an extremely active mind. Um, and so I think that that is one of the biggest challenges is trying to keep up with them mentally because in teaching preschool, I always had sort of an idea and you always kind of get this, you know, you put everything in a box and so you're like a child that's four years old needs to know this and needs to be able to do this. My children are way out of those boxes. Um, you know, one is behind in math and or behind in speech um, and they are both ahead mentally and so I'm just like a little bit out of my league. So you feel different connected with different hands on things to do. I'm going to have to do that. Definitely, and maybe hide them so that they only come out during school time, so they they stay interesting. Um, so thank you. Yes, you give them different boxes on different days. Awesome, I love that idea. I actually have two empty boxes right now I can fill. Um, so um, so yeah, that that's the challenge. Not so much even when my husband doesn't work in the morning, but it's mostly when he's night shift because he gets really loud when he's not getting attention, and then my husband can't sleep. Yes, and switch them up. Awesome. So, um, 
so yes, these are the challenges um, that that I've been facing. Um, like I said, it's my first week, so I'm a total newbie, even though I'm a second generation homeschool kid. Um, I was homeschooled um, from half of my fourth grade on um, through high school, I and mean, then I graduated from homeschool. So, um, you know, the concept of homeschooling isn't foreign to me. It's just the um, execution. <laughs> it's the execution. Now I'm on the other end. <laughs> now I get to be the teacher. And, um, you know, it always looks so much easier. Good morning, Dawn. How are you? Um, it always looks so much easier when you're a kid and you see your mom doing everything. What you don't see is all of the, um, <laughs> all of the challenges that she faces. And so, yeah, so that's where I'm at. So, um, I am so glad I jumped on here and did this. And I know this is probably the most, um, maybe the most, um, craziest periscope ever because this is not information that I'm feeding to you. It's more of you guys feeding information to me. You can email me at rthriftyhome.com and I can give you lots of ideas if you like. Awesome. I will be expecting an email from me soon. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much. Um, because, you know, I think that, you know, and this is, this is why I love periscope because you get a chance to chat. I love it that, that you're second generation. I know, isn't that, it's just, you know, um, I, and I love teaching. And so I guess it was sort of a no brainer for me to, to want to do this. Um, I love teaching and I love that I get a chance to do this with my children. Um, you know, pass on to them what, you know, my parents gave us. Um, and so, um, but I love Periscope because you can get on here and you can, you can dialogue and, um, it's community. You can give ideas back to, back and forth to each other. And so thank you because you have given me some incredible ideas and support knowing that, you know, I'm not the only one out there. And I just love all those hearts. You guys just keep them coming. Really. I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving it. Got this crazy fly in my house. Um, kamikaze fly taking the dive on my head. Um, and so, um, but I do, I love that because, you know, we're able to dialogue, we're able to give information back and forth, and you have given me some great ideas and information to go into next week. Now, I have something for you. This is a subscriber freebie, but I'm going to go ahead and make it available um, as a free download, um, completely free download. I have so much confidence in you. Thank you. You have way more confidence in me than I have in myself, but thank you. No, I, and I mean that sincerely. I really do, because that helps. Because, um, so, like I said, sometimes I feel like I'm in over my head, and then knowing that, you know, people are saying, you're, you're doing okay, you're going to be okay, then sometimes I'm like, okay, boot, you know, it kind of bolsters me up a bit. I made this for myself for next week, because one of the things that I realized today, as we got to Friday, was while I had an idea of what I was doing this week, I needed to be a lot more organized. Um, Y'all, yes, breathe and relax, yes. <laughs> That's hard for me to do sometimes. Um, one of the things that, um, I'm a super organized person. So when I'm not as organized as I feel like I need to be, then I'm a little crazy. Um, and so I got on um, and I made this for my subscribers, but like I said, for, on my blog for the next 24 hours, it will just be a complete freebie. You don't have to subscribe to my blog to get it, but this is, and it's backwards. I know a homeschool planning sheet, a uh, daily sheet. So what you have here is you, of course, the child's name, because if you're homeschooling more than one children, um, then you can print one out for each and the date. And then you have the subject, you have the the number of the, the page numbers that they're supposed to do, or the project, and then you can check it off if it's completed. Because if you're like me, I love to check things off or cross them off. I love lists, so I can do that. Oh, and then you have a section here for notes. So I'm going to get, after we're done here, I'm gonna go get on my blog really quick, and I'm gonna throw it up there. Um, I'll throw up a little post real quick um, with this Periscope, and, um, and then the sheet, so you can download it. It'll, the sheet will be up there for the next 24 hours. After 24 hours, then it will be a subscriber free. Because you have to subscribe to my blog to download it. Um, but um, this, I've already, I'm already ready for next week, you guys. I'm already ready for <laughs> for Monday. Yay! Um, but even though I have all this written down in a notebook, it's all written down for the whole week. So I like to be able to just see just what I'm doing today. And, um, and you know, what else you can do? This is the really cool thing because this is probably what I'm gonna do. I, I did it this way so I could show you guys here, but I'm gonna print out one more, put it in a, a page protector, and then you can use um, a marker to mark on it and then just use rubbing alcohol to rub it off. So then you only have to print out one page and you can just keep using it over and over and over um, in the page protector, which is totally awesome. I do that all the time with printables. And so, um, anyway, 
Um, you, can you share the name of your blog again? Yes, um, my blog is a little R&R. &R. Um, the address is www.ros, is in Sam, I-L-I-N-D-J-U-K-I-C.com. That's my name, Rosalind Yukich. Um, but I spell it out because my last name is foreign and so it's not phonetic. <laughs> not phonetic in the English language, that is. So um, anyway, um, if you have anywhere, you're welcome. If you have any more um, advice for me, <laughs> any more tips <laughs> or encouragement, you guys have been so encouraging, really. Dr. Mark, you have been so encouraging to me, and, um, and I really appreciate it. Uh, for those of you who don't know Dr. Mark, uh, well, you, yeah, most of you probably don't know, um, he um, was essential in us being able to conceive our first child. Um, and I really do um, just thank the Lord for him because um, I have had um, four miscarriages, two before my children, two after my children, and um, we weren't sure if we were going to be able to have children. And um, he was, he did a, um, thank you, um, he, um, he did a consultation with us and um, then recommended um, some supplements and some life changes for our family. That was um, that enabled me to be able to conceive and have two children, and so our children are miracle children, um, and they are they are birthed in prayer and in the wisdom of someone um, of a godly man who enabled us to be able to have our children, and we thank the Lord and we thank Him for that, and so thank you, um, and so I'm just so blessed that He joined me today on this. That just really meant a lot to me, and um, it means a lot to me that each of you are here. And that, um, yeah, it is an amazing story. It's such a, it's a miracle story. Um, and so um, I am just so thankful um, that I got on here. This was a little bit spontaneous. I had a, I had a whole other thing planned to talk about. And, um, and I, that's when I decided to go ahead and do this. I thought, I'm going to throw this out there and just um, see if I can get, you know, some, <laughs> some ideas for things that will help us to be able to kind of do a little bit better next week, even though this week was a lot, was a lot of fun. Thank you. And we are sending lots of love to you and Marty as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. That's wonderful. Thank you for, for offering to do a shout out for me. That's awesome. Um, do it. And yes, I will do, I will do what I plan to do in another scope. It probably won't be, it might be this evening. I don't know. Um, my kid, I'm anticipating that my kids are going to be up any, any moment now. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to bring this to a close because <laughs> when they're up, then I like, you know, my, my idea for work is I try to work while they sleep. And then when they're up, they get mom, they get mom's attention. Um, sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work out quite so well. Sometimes they get a little distracted, but for the most part, I try to give them my full attention while they're awake. So I am going to go ahead and bring this to a close now. And thank you all once again. I am so grateful for all of you for joining me and for your encouragement and for your love, for all of those hearts that are just that floated up there the whole entire time and, um, and for your advice and suggestions. And, um, and I will be um, sending an email <laughs> for some more advice as well. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you too, Don. Thank you so much. And um, so I will probably be back on Periscope this evening. I try to aim for three times a day. I'm usually on in the mornings my time, which is probably really late your time, especially if you're on the East Coast. If you're on the West Coast, it's not quite so late. Um, and I share um, about my Bible readings in the morning. Um, and then usually, right about now, I'm usually sharing something about my blog, even though I haven't, ha I didn't have a blog post go up today, so that's why I'm not sharing about my blog post. Um, or usually I'll just pick something that I've already written about a while ago that I kind of want to revive. Um, so today was a little bit spontaneous. Um, and then in the evenings, usually I do behind the blog. Um, so I'll be doing another thing behind the blog. Not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, it, you know, something will come to me um, before this evening, my time. And so sometimes I don't stick to that schedule because we have real life that goes on around here. And so, um, you know, we, we kind of, you know, let that happen. <laughs> when real life happens, it happens. And so, um, but that's what I try to aim for. Now, this Periscope is going to go up on my blog. Um, if you are on my, if you are on my blog right now or on YouTube, 
and you're watching this, um, this is this Periscope. And so if you, you know, you've heard me kind of converse with people talking about the hearts floating around and stuff, and you're not being, you're not able to see that if you're on YouTube and on my blog, because, um, because all of that is just limited to Periscope. So, um, so if you were kind of wondering what that's all about, that's what, the, that's what that's about. So anyway, thank you all for joining me. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and be sure to pop on again this evening because I'll be around. I'll be here. Real life. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're not alone. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Shalene. You have a wonderful day too. And be sure to pop back on. I'm really glad that you popped on to see me today. That's awesome.